That magic number for protein you've been told over and over again? Yeah. It's wrong. The internet loves to tell you that 30 grams of protein per meal is the sweet spot. That's based on fast digesting protein like whey. And sure, in those studies, muscle protein synthesis peaks somewhere between 20 and 30 grams. And chucking down 50 grams of whey didn't make the spike any bigger. But that doesn't mean the extra is wasted. Your body doesn't just yeet it into the toilet. It can feed other tissues, fuel recovery later, and slow down muscle breakdown. And with whole foods, that's a completely different game. They digest slower, so amino acids drip feed into your system. One study gave 90 grams of beef protein in one go. The results, the same muscle protein synthesis a spike as 30 grams, but the body used the rest of the protein over time. And this newer study in 2023 gave people 100 grams of milk protein right after training. And guess what? Bigger and longer anabolic response over 12 hours compared to just 25 grams of protein. So what does it mean to you? The total protein you get over a full day is king. It matters much more than the exact number in just one meal. A solid target is two grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. And if you want a number that's more specific to you, I got a free calorie calculator that gives you the amount of protein you need based on your age, gender, and length. If you come to a protein, I'll send it over. Then if you have the total protein of the day, just spread it evenly across the day. And whether that's 20 or 50 grams, doesn't really matter.